Welcome everyone, my name is Jermaine of webhostingthrone.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to start a blog. First you need to install a blog and that requires web hosting. So let's get right down to it. Okay, you need web hosting. Okay, so what we're going to do is, what I want you to do is click on the yellow button below this video. This video below, um, you will see a yellow button. Click on that link. Click on that yellow button. This is step one. You need web hosting in order to start a blog. So, so what you're going to do after you clicked on that yellow button, I'm going to give you five seconds. Okay, after you've clicked on that yellow button, um, go ahead and click on this green button that says get started now. Go ahead and press get started now. Okay, after you've pressed get started now, the plan you're going to choose is called the plus plan. Okay, I know this says recommended right here, but the plus plan is the best plan so far. Today, I'm going to be showing you um, how to install a blog on the plus plan. Okay, so it's $5.95 per month. Um, you can register an unlimited amount of websites. You have unmetered website space. You have unmetered bandwidth. Um, your performance is standard you will this includes one domain name so you so with your package plan you can register one domain name for free okay so it comes in with your plan so you can park um, as many domains that you register park them when you're not using them you can park them okay uh, you have subdomains and an unlimited amount of subdomains you can register email accounts that is very important you can create a customized website email for instance I have web hosting throne.com I have contact at web hosting throne.com so if you want to um, contact me reach me you can uh, email me at contact at web hosting throne.com so if you have a website like uh, Carla Williams you can say uh, contact at Carla Williams.com instead of the free Yahoo and Gmail accounts you have a professional email account and you can register as many of those as you want under as many websites as you uh, register okay so you have email storage uh, you can create as many emails and store them that is unlimited amount of data you can use okay you have marketing offers up to two hundred dollars that's included and so on and so on okay so this is what we're going to select press select okay now we're gonna create a domain name now usually I would recommend you use your government name for instance I have jermainplease.com you can register your name too as well if it's um, Donald Glover senior.com or whatever it is that you want to uh, whatever whatever's your name or if you have a specific market or so a specific type of content that you develop um, you can create like I have web hosting throne.com okay the reason why I have web hosting throne.com because I talk about web development blogging um, hosting things of that nature so if you're talking about cars maybe you'll give a little a little unique name for your uh, for your uh, car website name for instance it could be um, car um, um, whatever it may be that say, say for instance it can be something like car um, let me see my car my car thoughts dot com let's see if it can press next and see if it's available it may not be available that's kind of so it is it is available okay and I'm gonna go back one more time and show you something now when you choose a uh, an, an extension like .com, .net, you have several extensions to choose from. So .com is commercial, .online, .site, .website, tech. You have all these. .org is a top uh, a top uh, extension. So it's organization. .network. .info. .us. .biz. You can choose either extension, but this just know that .com is the highest okay that is the highest form of the the dot com that you choose is dot com 
So any extension that you want to choose and you say, I want the highest, the best is dot com dot commercial. OK, so after you've chosen that and you've chosen your domain name, press next. Then you place in your name, place on placing the rest of the information here. That's your first name, your last name, your business name, that's optional country, street address, put all the necessary information so you can be contacted, especially your your um <clears throat> especially your phone number, your email address, all that good stuff, okay? And that's just this is your free email address to get to get more information and it you know the login details and all that good stuff and as you, as you see right here it says your receipt will be your receipt will will be sent to this address so make sure this is uh, correct okay here's your account plan you can choose a 36 month price plan so it'll be five dollars and ninety five cent per month and this is how much you will pay right here where it says two hundred and fourteen dollars and twenty cent with the extra venues below your total price will be three hundred and fifty seven dollars and sixty cents so some of this stuff you don't need and if you want to just try out this for one year you can go with the 12 month price for seven dollars and ninety five cent a month and this would bring it down a little bit see it's ninety five dollars and forty cents so if you choose the 12 month price that's that is what you'll be paying Okay, and some of the stuff you may and may not want. So, for instance, domain privacy protection. You can read more about it, but what this, the Domain Privacy Protection Act, is when you register your domain name and you don't want your details to be displayed in the WHOIS section throughout the internet, and they can, you know, when people can see who owns the, owns this domain name and uh, you know, it, it shows the little details about the information, like where they live and things like that. If you are not a brick and mortar business and you're working offline only, you may just want to provide your, you know, your PO box. If that, if you know, if that's what you want to do. But if you don't want this, just uncheck it. Just uncheck it. Okay. Just uncheck it and your domain privacy would be seen but if you want it hey go ahead and keep it so that your domain privacy your information your personal information such as your address and your name and your phone number is hidden so i would say keep that checked if you are cautious on that okay site lock fine you can uncheck this uncheck that i don't bother any of those this is most important right here so afterwards you will be paying 107 dollars and 28 cent per year not per month so you will register a plan, this plus plan, your domain name per year is $107.28. That's all you pay per year. That is great to have your business online. Okay, so that is very uh, that is very exceptional. This price right here, that's all you pay per year. So after you've uh, made, uh, you, you've gotten all this information after you've, um, you know, registered, uh, put all your information in and chosen a domain name go ahead and put in your credit card information go ahead and put in your inspiration date and all this other stuff that you need in order to make a payment okay and then afterwards read this information and you can read the terms of service cancellation policy privacy policy but make sure this is checked this box is checked and press submit okay and you will get all your your login details in which I'm going to show you. I'm going to go actually go into my um, my own web hosting um, uh, account and I'm going to show you exactly how to install your blog. Now, this is how you install your blog. OK, so what you do is after you've registered everything and you put in your information, what you do is and you get your login details, what you do is say. We're going to go to bluehost.com. Okay, we're going to go to log in. Okay, we're going to put in your username right here, which is my username. And then you put in your password.
okay this is what you call your C panel or control panel this is all the functions that you need in order to manage your websites your email accounts all that good stuff okay so now what I'm gonna do is go to I'm gonna teach you how to create your email account as well so how to install a blog and go straight to it you're gonna go straight to it on how to start how to install a blog so what you do is you go straight down right here where it says website under this tab go to install WordPress okay now it's going to load up everything is going to load up let's see here now we're going to say domain and I'm going to go and inst install this on a domain name I'm going to choose web hosting throne I'm going to scroll all the way down here where it says web hosting throne.com I'm going to click on it okay I do suggest you keep the home page open for your lead capture page okay if you're going to install a blog install it in a directory that is my suggestion I don't um, I do recommend it but you do what you want to do I keep my home page for when people visit my website and I want to, them to subscribe to my email list I leave my home page for capturing leads capturing email so I can keep in contact with people to feed them great content okay so in the future, I'm going to go in deeper, de deeper depth on how to create a lead capture page. For right now, we're going to stick to creating a blog. So I'm going to call this web blog. Okay, that is this is where my blog is going to be installed. This is where my WordPress software is going to be installed in this directory. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to press next. And again, I do suggest you install it in a directory. Your blog in a directory and keep your home page. okay so I'm gonna choose my domain name so I'm gonna scroll down here I'm gonna go all the way down where it says web hosting throne I let me see here web hosting throne here it goes right here now I have a choice to choose between www.webhostingthrone.com or just uh, web hosting throne.com so I'm gonna choose the one without the www so just make sure you understand which one you choose because uh, when people visit your website or when the search engines index your website that is the person that's that is the particular one it is going to choose the one with or without so uh, just understand which one you uh, want and you truly want people to visit okay so I'm gonna choose the one without www okay and then I do suggest you place your blog in your um in, in a directory the software so when you choose to install wordpress blogging software place it in, place it in a directory okay i don't i do recommend that but you have a choice you can you can go ahead and install it on your front page your home page of your website but i do suggest you keeping this for capturing emails okay and keep in contact with people that you want to feed great content to so I'm gonna name this log okay and then we're gonna go ahead and press next again it is your choice okay now that we've uh, gone here now we have the information here where it says amend information you can go ahead and put whatever you want like for instance I can say web hosting throne blog and this would show up on my blog and this is all the information for your blog okay this is your username right here where it says amend username and here where it says administer uh, amend password so you can choose your username and password okay I'm just gonna call mine King 2018 okay that's a temporary password I'm gonna use uh, just for this tutorial for the purpose of this tutorial um, 
this is the admin email you can change this when you go into your general general settings um this is your um this is automatically creating a new database for you um just have all this stuff checked you can also check the terms of service and you know check all that stuff out but in, anyhow just make sure your username is what you want and your password make sure you also place this information in a notepad somewhere safe you can know you can uh, keep that information when you need to log in if in, in case you forget your username and your password that's that's that type of information that's sensitive information but keep it somewhere you can find it and use it to enter your website into your blog okay so I'm gonna go ahead and press next okay it is installing you see it says wordpress is installing and as you can see these are the themes you can use for your website the look you know the look of your website things like of that nature you can um you can purchase premium themes <clears throat> okay so that is something that you can look into you, of course you can access that through your um your dashboard and um through your themes area and we're going to go deeper into that particular thing as well okay it says installation complete continue browsing the marketplace or view credentials let's click here all right so you have officially installed your blog so my blog is in the directory called log of my website called webhostingthrone.com all right so i'm gonna go ahead and click on this okay so go ahead and uh, put in your username and my 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 uh password is king 2018 okay and i'm gonna press log in all right and you can update your password for your browser so your browser can remember your um, username and login so you can do that you can do that but just make sure that you have this place somewhere in case the browser doesn't remember it but um, you know you can press update password I press update password so I don't have to go through it and it'll bypass all that information for me and let me see here now this is your dashboard you have officially installed your blog okay now all you have to do is say for instance you want to visit your blog press the visit section right here and this is how your blog looks right here this right this bar is showing here because you are logged into your blog see this is your post this is your bar your um your um widget area right here where more information can be shared here and this is your footer okay this is your in block this is your blog this is your theme your standard theme from web host i mean from um wordpress this is the standard theme you can change it anytime you want to i'm going to show you a couple things okay now you can see your blog when you're logged into your website at this point in time okay at this point in time you can see your blog let's go back to the dashboard and i'm going to show you something okay now I'm going to log out. I'm going to log out. Okay. I'm going to log out. And I'm going to go ahead and try to go to my blog where I'm logged out. So when I'm logged out, I cannot enter, I cannot see my blog because I haven't officially launched it yet. You have to launch it. Let me show you how to launch it when you're ready for it to be seen in the public. I'm going to go to WP admin and it's actually when you want to log in I'm going to I'm going to let you know this right now when you want to log into your blog make sure you have your website 
and if you're using the directory have the directory in here such as such as log mine is log forward slash wp dash log in dot php make sure that is present because if you don't have that present or if you don't if you don't have wp dash admin those things you need in order to log into your blog okay it's going to take you here and that is where you log in so make sure you have your username put in king 2018 i'm going to press log in and it's going to take me straight to my dashboard now that is how you log in to your blog okay make sure you have that in your head that you uh, on how to log in and how to log out just make sure that you hover over here in the uh, right corner top corner and it's right here where it says log out just press the log out key and it'll log you out now another 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 thing here another thing here go to home press home go to Bluehost press home as you can see right here I'm gonna scroll down where it says your site is currently displaying coming soon page this allows you to work on your site without the public seeing until you are ready to unveil it okay until you have finished your website it will show the coming soon page as I showed you when you're logged out when you're logged in you can view it yourself the appearance of it before it is public okay so once you're done once you've completed your website press launch your site and once you press launch your site it'll automatically open up to the public okay it'll automatically open up to the public another thing I want to show you concerning the search engines and I want you to do this right now because it is very important to me okay so go down to where it says settings go to where it says settings here and go to reading this is very important now scroll down where it says search engine visibility okay you want the search engines to see your property whatever it is if it's your um if it's a niche site or wh whatever the site is if you want to keep it if you want to keep it from out of the search engines and people finding you your business then fine go ahead and keep this checked but if you want to be seen by the search engines you want to uh gain those keywords get uh you know uh be seen in search where it says discourage search engines from indexing this site uncheck this if you want to be seen in the search engines okay and after that press save changes if you don't want to be seen just keep it checked but if you want to be seen and found through search such as Google Yahoo whatever uncheck it and press the save button and that's it so we're gonna move on to part two of how to uh, what else you need to do in order to have a working blog okay so this is step one this is step one install your blog and have it ready so that you can begin working on it and then after it's complete we're going to launch the site until now right now you cannot it cannot be seen it is installed okay it is installed but it's, it can't be seen right now so that is how you install your blog thank you all for joining me follow me on step two you should be getting that soon Thank you, and I'll see you guys soon.